Hi, welcome guys to my creative corner. This is Claudette where I create projects using paper, stamps, inks, mixed media, and a whole lot of embellishments. On my channel, I typically create projects using papers and I need a tool that's going to be able to cut those papers. So I always wanted to invest in a guillotine style trimmer. So I was at Hobby Lobby and I noticed this guillotine style trimmer by Fiskars. So I decided I was going to go ahead and do my homework and check out the reviews. They had excellent reviews. So I went ahead and used my coupon code of course and I purchased this trimmer. The original price was $39.99 and I got it for $24 plus tax. So with your guillotine trimmers, typically you know, know that they're usually heavy and large and bulky. So you have to have the counter space or a space to store these particular trimmers. So this particular trimmer is more of a lightweight and compact. So today we're going to be doing an unboxing of this Fisker trimmer as well as we're gonna check out the performance of it. If you don't have a craft store, a Hobby Lobby, Joanne's Michaels close by to you with this trimmer, they sell them at Amazon. I'm gonna leave a link down below for Amazon so you could check out the reviews and the specs on this particular trimmer. If you guys are new to my channel, please consider hitting the subscribe button down below as well as the bell icon so you could be notified when I upload my latest videos. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. So if you guys get any creative value from this video, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. So you're gonna unbox the trimmer with me today and we're gonna check out the performance. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so guys, this is the Fisker 12 inch bypass fast and efficient paper trimmer. So let's go ahead and open this up. Alrighty. So this is how it looks right out of the box. This pretty much is lightweight. I like the fact that they have the measurements right up here to the top. They have it in the middle and they have it to the bottom. That is pretty cool. So this is the guillotine handle. Is really light guys I'm going to turn it on this side right here they have this handle right here foot so they have this big hole I think that is huge super huge handle for um, traveling with and I could see that this is light compact easy to store and they have the little feet right here for to protect your surface area and to have the to make it stable so they said this trimmer deck is recycled materials so I love the large deck so this area is a clear clamp it helps to keep your paper nice aligned so you get even cut so you want to hold this down when you're cutting your paper is a smudge guard and they talk about the precision grid and scale they talked about the carrying handle and then it should be a safety lock here and the rubberized feet and this cuts 10 sheets of paper one time and they're talking about your copy paper See, I also like the fact that this is a wider base. I looked at other trimmers that just had a smaller section, maybe up to six um, inches, and I prefer wider bases. Um, so you have the handle here, and then they have the lock mechanism here. And so therefore, what you're gonna do is just pull the handle out a little bit, and I don't know if you could see this little opening right here, and then this, black little protruding part here so you're going to pull this out a little bit and then you're going to make sure it goes right into that so that is the locking mechanism so let's go ahead and trim some paper so what i'm going to do is start with just one sheet of copy paper let's see i'm going to put it say at six inches we're going to hold this bar down our guard down oh that is nice it is really a nice slice nice and clean 
All right, so we have 10 pieces of paper here. And let's get that under the guard. And we're gonna cut this down to about three inches. And there we go. And I just think this is gonna be a bit of a learning curve in terms of how you hold your handle, I notice, and how well it's gonna cut. So you have your little um, safety mechanism here. It kind of stops it. So I don't know how close down to this edge you could get with cutting your paper. So it gives clean cut. So I'll just practice with this a little bit more and then really see if this is something that I like. I bought this trimmer mainly because one, I prep for my classes. I want to be able to cut multiple papers at one time. Let's Okay, so next let's go ahead and try um, our regular cardstock. So this is one paper here. So let's go ahead and put this at, uh, let's see, let's put this at five and a half. We'll hold our guard down. So you have to make sure your paper is lined up. So you just come down in your grid, make sure your paper is lined up all the way down. You hold your grid and then you bring your handle down. So that is really a nice cut. No fraying or anything like that. So let's put these this together. So, um, so if we're saying that they could cut 10 papers of the copy paper, what about let's say five pieces of cardstock? So let's get five pieces of cardstock here together and then we'll cut that down. All right guys, so we have five pieces of cardstock here, three, four, five. So let's go ahead and see how this cuts to these five pieces of cardstock. So we're gonna put it under our guide. So we're gonna cut this down to about four and a quarter. Like we're gonna make sure the love that, we're gonna make sure the measurements are even all the way through. Hold your guard down here and. Okay guys, that's five pieces cut with a little bit of frayed edges. All right, next guys, what we're gonna do is try pieces the cardboard that comes with your designer series paper that protect it or chipboard let's see this is one piece let's see how it holds up to this it performs with this that did pretty good guys pretty good not bad at all so the blade is self um, sharpening, so it's low maintenance because it doesn't need to be replaced. They say they have a lifetime warranty, as I say, but you'll check out in the fine prints what they mean by lifetime warranty. Sometimes that does not con um, include the handle or the blade, so you have to check that out. So again, I'm going to leave the specs down below as well as the link to the site for online on Amazon. And with anything that's new is a learning curve. Like I said, the security bar that's here, it kind of stays in a way. So I don't know how far down you could bring this paper down to cut it. But I do like it. I like the that is lightweight. I like that it's compact. And I don't really like this big hole and the handle here. I couldn't think this is sufficient um, grass right behind here than making keeping this hand this big hole here in that. But it, uh, overall, I do like the trimmer. So this is it, guys. Get out there and be creative. And this is Claudette, and I'll catch you guys on the next video.